Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This is my top 10 stocks as we head into Monday, November 25th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. And also if you trade Bitcoin, I will do a bonus analysis at the end. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these candles one, or excuse me, these videos when the market is still open because sometimes you can capture some really interesting late day price movement. Second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, ticker symbol SMCI, and the uptrend continues. Very nice move here. Uh, we've been talking about this one uh, very recently and these levels here, I'm going to get rid of that. It's been broken. And the first key update comes about just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see the MACD as support. So going into the day, that level right there at 3050 was an area of resistance, but with the price now above it, you'd expect it to act as resistance and that's, or excuse me, as support. And that's exactly what happened with it right there. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this level up to what I would call the ideal level. And we say, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest moving forward? And that would be if the price can stay above 31.75. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below that level, not the end of the world. But if the price could manage to stay above there, that would be a great sign of strength. Taking a step back and looking at things from a bigger picture point of view, that's where the purple line there comes into play. The 50 period, simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. And from an overarching standpoint, as long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then by definition, the trend is still in the bullish direction because in order to stay above that line, the price is going to need to put in higher lows as time goes by. In terms of areas of resistance, main dynamic to watch going into next week is just a very basic Tread line right there, so keep an eye on that. But all things considered, this thing continues putting those higher highs and higher lows, and that's the name of the game. Next one here, MSTZ. And overall, this thing is hanging in there. It's battling. It pulled back a little bit more than what I would want to see it have pulled back. But to give credit where credit's due, the price did stop, went sideways, and now as I speak, very, very impressive last 30 minutes. In, spa in fact, let me actually zoom in here a little bit more. You can see that in the very near term, the price is actually now up above that purple line. So a breakout of that purple line is underway, which leads to always an exciting question. Is this the start of something even bigger? Now, to be fair, maybe it's not. Maybe this rolls right back over. But think about that question. It makes no sense to ask that question unless something worthwhile is happening. And something worthwhile is definitely happening here. So again, no such thing as a guarantee, but certainly valid to start to question, is this getting ready to rock and roll back to the upside? So keep an eye on that. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this area of support down to that level right there at the 78 cent mark, uh, which would definitely be a very, very important level because if the price were to come down there and break down below it, that would be putting the price essentially right back to where it was at the lows and you don't want to see the price going back to where it was as far as areas of resistance really nothing major until up around this area here which is why this breakout here is pretty uh, uh you know a pretty exciting potential event because if this is the start of something bigger there's quite a bit of room to run before it even experiences any sort of what i would consider uh you know major areas of resistance so yes definitely a very interesting last 30 minutes here of the day and now that i think about it it's friday so last 30 minutes of the week We'll see if this carries into next week. Next one here, S-O-U-N. Nice bullish pattern here has been constructed. So let's just get this pattern into play. We have our resistance part of the pattern. We have the support part of the pattern. Let me change that to green. And then to make it easier to see, let's just keep it one color. So we have our resistance. We have our support. We have the big move up right here. This would be a bull flag pattern. So it's really as straightforward as that. If you like this price range down around the $10 mark, you like bull flag patterns, here you go. Next one here, QUBT. And speaking of bull flags, well, we had one on this one yesterday and a good example of the power of the bull flag. Now, this one was not the cleanest. It had a couple of faulty breakouts both there uh, and there and there. But on the flip side, it also never violated the bottom part of the pattern. Now, what would have been absolutely savage is if the price had broken up, come down here and broken down through that support and then made the move. That would have been very savage, very cruel, but it didn't do anything. So yes, it wasn't the cleanest of breakouts, but it also wasn't cruel as it maintained that area of support right there. But you can see finally got the break there and then the big move up later. So very, very impressive. I'm going to go ahead and just delete those lines out as they serve their purpose for now, as we have a newest or the new pattern in play here and... Grab the wrong line there. There we go. 
So main area of resistance in my mind, right up around $6.30, just trying to kind of find the middle ground there. So keep an eye on that. And then in terms of areas of support, we have this former basically double top of resistance right there and then right there. And then going back to that rule and levels of resistance were broken and closed above. You want to see them act as support. So we have basically kind of a poor man's bull flag, not the most clear, but at the end of the day, without getting, what we have here is some consolidation after a nice move up. So if you want to call that a bull pennant, but like I said, no need to get bogged down in the terminology and what actually is it called. The psychology is what matters most. The overall pattern is what matters most. And the pattern is higher highs and higher lows. I've been tracking this one for a while and it seems like this thing just keeps on chugging higher and higher. So assuming you're bullish, that's what you want to see. Next one, NVDA, and overall, the chart is fine. Now, keyword there being overall, I understand if you're some sort of day trader, flipper, scalper, and you bought right there this morning, and your plan was to buy and sell within 20 minutes, well then yes, from that standpoint, chart looks really rough as it came down quite a bit. Broke down through these moving averages, so that's not the greatest thing. So yes, depending on where you bought, depending on your personal strategy, maybe today was really, really bad for you. But again, going back to that word of overall, everything is fine and hanging in there. Uh, Reason number one, price still isn't anywhere close to the bigger picture support down there at 138. But then even in the nearer term, so let me add this in, make it a little bit different. You can see the price is still even respecting these lows right here. Didn't even test the 140.65 mark. So from that angle, yeah, everything is still holding up fine. It's not like there's been any sort of massive crash or anything like that. Once more, I understand if you're a day trader and you bought right there, you'd be saying, what are you talking about a massive crash? I bought right there and now look where it's at. Yes, from that angle, you're right. But I am also trying to, that's why these are challenging to do because I'm trying to talk to people that may be day traders and people that may be caring about the overall picture. But if you do care about the grand scheme of things, yes, today wasn't the greatest of days, but it's still you know maintaining those supports. And in terms of areas of resistance, yes, you have that trend line right there. But before you really put too much emphasis on that, the price will first need to prove itself in the near term by getting back above those two key moving averages, purple line being the 50 period moving average to uh, pink line being the 200 period. Real quick, wanna take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training that I'm offering here in a couple of weeks. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used, then definitely go get signed up for the class. If you're interested, there's a link down in the description box on YouTube, or if you're watching right at my website, there's a area right there on the webpage that you can use. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free live webinar. Next one here, M-A-R-A, -A, and we have ourselves a beautiful example here of a nice bull pennant breakout. So talked about this one in previous videos, but we had our resistance, our support, had the big move up. So there was the multi-day bull pennant. And then you can see right here, late day, got the breakout through there, and it's continued to grind higher and higher. So overall, fantastic. I'm just go ahead and get rid of those lines as they serve their purpose for now. In terms of new levels to watch moving forward, first key level, and the ideal area, again, the ideal level being that area where, you know, what would make this chart look the absolute best moving forward? That would be if the price can stay above 25.50. But if the price does not hold above there, then that's where you want to just go back to that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. And as long as the price is above that area, then overall, the chart is doing just fine. In terms of the levels of resistance, no need to overcomplicate this. Just a question of where did the party finally stop today? And that's right there at... 26.75 so keep an eye on that moving forward but like a lot of these other charts we've been looking at it, it's been a good week for them just a, a week of higher highs and higher lows and mara was no different so yes nice way to end the week we'll see if this momentum carries into next week next one here ticker symbol rgti and i mean it, it it's not exactly the same but in some ways i mean up down round out up down like i said not exactly the same up down round out and then up again so that just begs the question, are we about to see, and it's already begun, a rounding out right here. So that right here is kind of my main question moving into next week, is do we have just a little consolidation? It's already pulling back right now, but does it kind of just do this little phase again, which would just be a nice little healthy consolidation. So that's immediately what stood out to me on this chart. Just, I, I don't know, may, let me know down below. Am I, am I looking at things or does this look kind of almost like a mirror image as, as it goes? But Regardless, keep an eye on that dynamic right around $1.70. And then in terms of areas of resistance, no need to overcomplicate it. Once again, just asking the question, where did the party stop today? And that was right up there at $1.85. But yes, no doubt about it. Very impressive uptrend. You have the pullback. Is it gonna round out and then head back up like it's done uh, uh, you know, several times before already? We'll see what happens next week. 
Next one, TSLA, and here we go. We have another pattern breakout on Tesla here. I mean, check out that 30-minute candle right there. Oh, so strong, came up, blasted through that area, and has now created a, a miniature little bull pennant. So right here, we had a, a multi-day uh, pattern, but now we have just an intraday pattern here. And this is one where it's Tesla, very popular stock. Everybody's heard of it. I guess I can't say everybody watches it, but I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same patterns and wondering the same thing, there's just that much more credibility that it could indeed create uh, you know, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So the pattern here, let's just get this in play. We have the area of resistance. We have the area of support. And just because I can't help myself, let's keep it one color. Now that was a terrible line. Resistance, support. Nice upwards move there. We have ourselves, yeah, you guessed it, another bull flag pattern. So very well, uh, you know, very popular pattern on a very popular stock. We'll see if that leads to some self-fulfilling prophecies next week. Next one, PLTR. And this was not uh, any sort of, you know, uh, bull pennant or bull flag breakout, but it was a nice sideways channel breakout because the past several days, I mean, you can see this has just been somewhat annoying, just back and forth, back and forth. But today, price came up here, finally got through it and up it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that line down there as it served its purpose. But first key update, as I mentioned, levels of resistance, you then wanna see them act as support. So $63 is the important area. Not in the sense of if the price falls below there, that means the entire chart's destroyed. But you don't wanna see it fall back below there in the sense of if it does fall back below there, well then guess what? The price is right back inside of that sideways channel and you wanna at least see some progress. So if the price were to come down here and do this and then work its way back upwards, that would be totally progress as you'd have a set of lows there and then you'd have that set down there and so on and so forth down there. You envision those as stair steps and you can see the stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. In terms of next levels of resistance, next key battleground in my mind seems to be right there around the 65, 35 mark. So keep a close eye on that. Uh, but all things considered, very nice way to end the week as it finally got the sideways channel breakout. Next one, VRPX, and there's no doubt about it, this is one ugly looking chart, but for you longer time viewers, you know what I'm gonna say next. There is opportunity and there can be opportunity in the ugly. Now this is a situation where you may look at these and say, I'm not gonna touch that, and I totally get it. This is for very disciplined traders that are gonna honor stops and keep an eye on things because usually with these sorts of situations when everybody just says, oh, this thing is, uh, there, there's no hope for it. That's usually when there starts to be some hope and it seems like this is kind of essentially where the price is at in regards to, you know, oh, there's no hope for it. All it does is go down. Yeah, maybe it keeps going down again. That's why risk management matters. Uh, but it's also a situation where it's been beat down so much. I mean, think about it. There are some poor souls that bought right there. Hopefully they had stop losses. If not, they're not having a good weekend. But, uh, you know, it started there, came all the way down here. So definitely a very, very nasty downwards movement. Uh, but if you have enough experience, then you, you certainly know that movements like this that get beat down this hard, this rapidly, can create some very impressive movements. Now, not, I'm not, by no means am I saying the price is going to reverse back up to there. But if there was some dead cat that went here and then got smoked back down, I mean, from a trader standpoint, that distance right there is kind of sometimes all you need to you know create a, a good solid uh, trade. So if you like these sorts of opportunity or these situations where things are really ugly, but you think you might be able to find some opportunity in them, here you go. I'll get to Bitcoin here in just a second, but again, for you stock traders out there, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Like I said, in a couple weeks, Thursday, December 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. And then as far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these and you wanna support the channel in a totally free and easy way, please just hit that subs uh, subscribe button. It really goes a long way. All right, now let's talk some Bitcoin. One quick clarification here, I am now on the four hour time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents four hours instead of 30 minutes. And I'm just, I like to do this time frame because you know, uh, given Bitcoin is open 24 seven, it'll allow this analysis to remain relevant all weekend long because we're looking at a longer time frame. And then I'm gonna walk through some questions and based on how you answer those questions, that'll tell you the current status of things. So status, status of things. So nothing has really changed and that is a good thing. So I'm kind of like a broken record, but like I said, from a, a, a bull standpoint, that's good because question number one has not changed. It's been the same question over the past few days and it remains the same. So let's just say you're watching this video Sunday afternoon. Where's the price at relative to that trend line right there? As long as you're answering the question that the price is above that level, as far as I'm concerned, the chart is perfectly fine. There's nothing to worry about. 
because this is a pretty aggressive uptrend already, that line, and the price has been, you know, just not only staying above it, but in some ways has even separated further from it. So like I said, any answering of the question that the price is above there, everything is still fine. Now, the only time that I would say, uh-oh, maybe start to get worried is if somehow you're saying, well, actually, Clay, I'm watching this right now on Sunday afternoon, and the price is down below that level. So ask yourself, where's the price at relative to 84500 in, in the event you're answering that the question that the price is down below there? If, as you know, like I said, if the price is down below that level, which I highly doubt you're going to be answering it in that way, then yeah, that might be a bit of a red flag, but um, I, I doubt that'll be the case. And then just common sense will continue to take you far. I mean, if you're saying, well, Clay, not only is the price up above here, the price is now actually well up above 100,000. Well, that's just telling you that the uptrend has not only continued, but gotten that much stronger. So, I, you know, there's no such thing as a guarantee, but you got to think this thing pokes its head over 100,000 over the weekend. So we'll see what happens with it. But overall, definitely Bitcoin is in an upwards grind. And as I invited the Bitcoin traders, I'm, or excuse me, as I invited the stock traders, I'm inviting you as a Bitcoin and crypto trader to definitely get signed up for this class. Uh, like I said earlier, because what you learn about can and certainly should be used within the world of Bitcoin and crypto. So the details of the class are down here. If you want to get signed up for a couple weeks, Thursday, December 5th at uh, that's actually a typo. That should be 8 o'clock. It is at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So we'll get that changed. But uh, for now, just realize that it is 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on when the class would be. And again, if you enjoy these top 10 videos, if you could hit that subscribe button, that would really help out. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.